Hi guys. This is the August kit. Um, as you saw in the pictures, it's a mini album. It's a Matchbox mini album by Graphic 45. And the papers that I have used are from Echo Park. It's the Hocus Pocus. Um, and then I've added on my own little um, bits and pieces. I gathered material like the fabrics, the googly eyes, the bottle cap, the uh, two skeleton hands. So I'm going to show you guys how I did the accordion part and the rest of it is on the video that comes included with the kit. So to learn how to make this little fabric flower, you're going to have to buy the kit. Sorry, otherwise it wouldn't be fair to those that purchased it. <laughs> so here we go. Um, we open this up. Of course, um, everything comes raw. You're going to have to cut everything, but with your kit, you will have instructions on how to, or the sizes that I have cut these strips down to and pretty much you'll have all the instructions um, so again once you pull this out of the box your album is kind of an accordion album and it opens up like so And then, of course, when you flip it on the other side, it's a whole other part of the album. So what you can do is, of course, once you collapse it all, put it back in its box, add your photographs, anything you want to add to them, and then just make sure it's... Um, it's put in back correctly. You'll figure it out just because the box will only fit in there one way. So you'll know. Okay, so that's the book. So what I did was I took, um, and this is also in your kit, you have four pieces of eight and a half by 11 of the black cardstock. And what I did is I cut three of the pieces Eight and, a, eight and a half by eight, and one of the piece only eight by eight. Okay, so you're going to set the eight by eight aside, and um, you can score it however you want. I have a score pal, so that's what I'm going to use. It's the easiest for me. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black pieces of paper, the three of them, make sure that they're on my score pal, eight and a half by eight. And I'm going to score just right here in the first long groove, which I believe is a quarter inch. Oh, make sure you hold it because it's a slippery little sucker and it'll move around for you. Okay, so you're going to score those three pieces that are eight and a half by eight. And you're only going to score about a quarter of an inch. Actually, not a quarter of an inch. I'm sorry, I am already messing up. It's half an inch. You're gonna score half an inch. Okay. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start hooking these pieces together. Um, you look for your crease and you kind of just fold it once. And then you're going to take your next piece and the opposite, instead of crease, um, pasting it together crease to crease, you're going to paste it together crease to flush is what I'm going to call it. Okay. I use the, this is my favorite tape, the Crafty Power Tape. It's by 3, uh, no, I think it's 3L Scrap Up Adhesives. Yeah, 3L. I'm just going to do a double-sided tape on that, inside that crease. Okay. And again, leaving the second piece of paper, the, the crease, away from the first crease, we're going to paste it together. 
I like to make it really straight so I kind of tap them together like that. Make sure that that crease is being kind of caught on that straight piece. Just like that. And then I'm going to fold it over. And there's your first fold. So you're going to repeat that step with the next with the next set or with the next piece, you're gonna put your double-sided tape on that crease again, on the crease flap. Okay. And then once again, with the last piece that you have creased, you're going to use the flush side and paste it onto that crease so that you can, um, right at the edge of the crease, right where it, you know, right in that groove where you crease it, right in there. <laughs> You're going to make sure that it's all nice and straight. Oops. Once it's straight, fold it over again, and it's done. Now, you're going to take, again, the last piece, and this piece does not have a crease. Remember, this is your last piece. That's eight by eight. One more crease, one more crease end. And again, double-sided tape. And then this part, of course, will go just like the other ones, the only difference is that this one no longer, or the last piece no longer has a crease, so it will all work out perfectly. There. So now you have your accordion album part. Um, you're going to be able to start decorating, and you can fold this any way you want. Once you fold it, everything will be nice and uniform, and you have yourself your accordion album. There we go. Oh. So just like that. So you can decorate both sides, of course. And that's it for the album. Very simple. Like I said, you're going to just um, decorate the rest of it. Um, I have each, um, in the kit, each page is pictured so that you can kind of follow along along because basically other than like the special little techniques like this this was just curling you know I basically just like a curl ribbon I curled the paper that's not a big deal everything comes pre-cut like this um, spider web is pre-cut all these are stickers that come in that package in the collection package Again, sticker, you have all these little embellishments. Um, it has a list of what you're going to need as far as other supplies that do not come with it. Um, for example, the double-sided tape, um, thick uh, pop-up tape, um, all this other stuff, like I said, is all part of the stickers that come with the collection. Um, but everything else that you see here is, is um, actually cut for you. Like if there are simple um, little borders like this for my punch, I cut them out, put them in there for you. Um, this wooden eat, drink, and be scary is in there for you. Um, all the embellishments basically are in there for you. And all the punches are cut out and included in your kit. All the material, including the material for the flowers in there. And you also get this nifty little strip. It says flower strip. And this strip is what you're going to use to make this cute little fabric flower and like I said unfortunately that is all part of the video and that's how you can view it um, that's it I hope I helped uh, hopefully I made sense with the accordion album if you have any questions you know where to find me I hope you guys enjoy the kit and once you make it I hope you guys will share your creation that's it thanks for watching